everyone, I do hope you're okay. My name is Mitzi Valentine and I'm the course leader for Geography and I'll be discussing the facilities that our Geography, Physical Geography and Environmental Scientist students will use during their time here at Brackenhurst, NTU's rural campus located in Southwell. Here is our geospatial computer lab. It's a fantastic 60 seat PC room located in the newly built live building. Each PC has twin screens to facilitate the geospatial work that our students undertake. Each PC has a high specification to aid using the large file sizes associated with geospatial data. Geographic information systems or GIS and remote sensing software installed on the PCs includes ArcGIS a GIS software that's used in commercial settings. We have a great supply of geospatial equipment that's available for student use, including handheld GPS and differential GPS. These tools are industry standard and are used in our first year and second year modules to undertake a range of surveying tasks, both on our idyllic rural campus and during our overseas fieldwork in Spain. Our outdoor classroom is really our rural campus, which is a 200 hectare working farm that contains a range of wildlife habitats, protected species, an automatic weather station and several wooded streams locally called dumbles. These are of interest because they facilitate investigations into ecology, land use, water quality and local flood risk. This means that rather than just having to journey long distances to field sites, we can simply step straight out of our labs and our lecture theatres into these habitats and environments to undertake our sampling. Finally, our general labs. So our general labs are newly refurbished and they include a range of facilities to enable exploration of various environmental, biological indicators, including soil, sediment, heavy metals, water analysis, and hydrology investigations using our laboratory flume, which is a controllable miniature stream to assess flow variables. These laboratories are used intensively by our first year environmental scientists as they are taught the key principles of environmental science from basic chemistry through to ecotoxicology. We use key analytical laboratory and field techniques. Final year dissertation students have employed these facilities as part of their independent projects. These have included investigating the impacts of pollutants on river ecology, sustainable alternative energy sources, the salinization of fresh waters due to climate change and the effects of ingested microplastics on lugworms. I do hope you've enjoyed exploring our facilities with me and I hopefully look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks ever so much. You take care. Bye bye.